Okay, we have some new Corona developments, and Jurgen, why don't you give us a lowdown on the Corona monoblocks? They okay. are brand new, I think. Yeah, what you see here uh, are the uh, Corona monoblocks. So um, we have um, this monoblocks that have, can deliver 500 watts on 4 ohm, and uh, these have the same technology as with the stereo amp or with our integrated amp. This is the laser technique that means linear analog switching amplifier. And with this technique, we have uh, the same distortion characteristic from 20 Hz to 20 kHz, so the sound doesn't change with, with frequency. And also, we have a very homogeneous characteristic of the distortion uh, over the output level. So, no matter you are listening to a low level 1 watt or to a higher level 100 or 200 watts, the distortion characteristic will be similar as though this power amp doesn't uh, change the uh, tonal characteristic of the instrument, no matter which uh, tune they are playing or which level you are playing back. And uh, with all Corona systems, what's very uh, unique is that they are in a family. So they use, uh, see the look of this Corona family and they are all connected together with a regular network cable. So for example, if I hooked up as a family, I can dim the unit with one switch and all other will go the same way. Do, that, do that again, let's look at that. That. See, oh look, they're all dimming at the same yes, time. Yeah, but for example, if I want to have the mono blocks more to the speakers and uh, do not want to have them uh, di on display, I can uh, leave the family and push it more than two seconds, then I get a short blink, and with that, I can dim individually. So I can leave it on, off, and all others uh, will stay on. And if I push again more than two seconds, they are. In, uh, back in family and they dim simultaneously. I like that yeah. uh, term family, that's a very good term for the, for the line because they do, they, they look like they are all made to work next to each other and to perform as a single unit even though they're separate boxes. That's right, yeah. and uh, this goes even further for example, if the CD player recognizes that a preamp or integrated amp is connected, the integrated amp takes over the input control of the digital inputs of the CD player. So I can push them uh, at this preamp to using the, the coax in or can uh, use the optical in or the USB uh, input. So we have also uh, built in here our asynchronous um, master clock mode USB input. And what's also very unique is that um, Every other oscillators are switched off except the oscillator you need that for. For example, if you're using this digital input, the complete CD player section will put to sleep and also all oscillators of the USB input will put to sleep. And if you are uh, then going back to uh, the CD, it will uh, woke up immediately, will read the CD and you can uh, use it after some seconds. Well, that's good because then you're optimizing your power supplies, that your power supplies aren't being over overstressed. This or, is yeah, one yeah, point, but yeah. the, the major point mm -hmm. is to have only one crystal oscillator later running and so they do not interfere with each other well, and uh, this family characteristic is also for example with the standby uh, button if I push regularly so the complete system will go into standby and we have a power consumption of less than 1 VA uh, I can switch on also no matter which device the complete family will wake up but again as with the dim knob if i push longer than two seconds then only this unit will go into standby so that uh, it has a little bit of a green effect that if you're not using a Absolutely, component yeah, that yeah, you yeah. can shut yeah. it down because you can use this also from the remote so you can switch them on leave this on the unit for the complete week or a month and can control everything with a remote control yeah well, uh, they, they just said goodbye to us, and uh, before we wrap up, let's uh, take a quick look at the speakers. They're just gorgeous to look at. This model is the 116. One, uh, 116. Yeah. Yeah. So the F-type of the 116. All of our uh, loudspeakers have the same tweeter and mid-range section, but have a different selection state uh, between uh, the, our smallest model and the extreme model. But the driver itself is the same technique 
uh, with this 116 we have a conventional to 5 inch push push for the mid range and an 8 inch push push for the base and this, both base drivers are also stabilized internally against each other with some aluminium rods though they do not vibrate and though no vibration is going to this cabinet to have this clear uh, sound of this system. I had a pair of 116s in for uh, review six years ago okay. and I was driving them off of 50 watt amplifiers and then I had the nerve and the audacity one day yeah. to put an 18 watt EL34 push-pull amplifier on them yeah. and until they clipped they were beautiful sounding yeah. so they don't present a very difficult load to drive. No, with all our MBL lots because I take care that uh, the phase shift of the impedance is not very high so uh, even if you hear sometimes you need a lot of current that's not true because this even uh, impedance characteristic is a relatively easy load for a good amplifier so if you have any good amplifier you will be able to drive this speaker very easily. Well the good amplifiers are match perfectly with them and the great amplifiers like your amplifiers, yeah. the MBL amplifiers, it's again, it's like being at your own personal concert. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. You're welcome.